Hello guys, it's me Simo Orahara and in this video we will talk about 4 Bankai 4 Bankai that are very special from the other Bankai in Bleach so that we will review the similarities between them as well as the differences and in the end I'll give you which Bankai I consider the best among these 4 legendary Bankai so I made a video 3 years ago about this Bankai but the main theme in that video was to start from the similarities between the four Bankai in order to research the identity of the woman who influenced Orohara when he was young and made his Zanpakuto in the form of Benihimi. Also, one of the things that I wasn't sure about at the time was Yachiro's identity. Is it just a part of Zaraki's soul or is it his Zanpakuto? But fortunately, Kubo clarified this point and confirmed that the little Yachiro is Zaraki's Bankai and Nozarashi is an adult woman. And this is what will make us delve deeper into this Bankai according to a new vision. So the first and the main common feature between these four is that they are all female Zanpakuto. Katen Kyukatsu Karamatsu Shinju represented by Ohana. Kanon Biraki Binihimi Aratami represented by Binihimi and Nuzarashi represented by Yachiro and Uruzakuru represented by Uruzakuru and as you can see we have male Shiniganis and they have female Zanpakuto I know some will talk again about Rinji Zanpakuto's case although I made clear in the past that the form that appeared in the Zanpakuto arc is not canon because Kubo previously confirmed that the official form of Rinji Zanpakuto is the one that appeared for the first time in the Soul Society arc and that same design he made it in a sketch uh, about the fight of Rinji in uh, Masculine therefore I cannot include Rinji in this list on the other hand we have a second common point between these four or at least the three and the point is that a female character influenced their past. Kyuraku had a strong relationship with his sister-in-law to the extent that he still wears her haori. Kinpachi Zaraki, his past distinguished by Onohana Yachiro and how he considered her the person he most valued and respected. Which may explain why Zaraki Zanpakuto took a shape of a female and Azuro Soya was very attached to his sister and for her sake he became a Shinigami in fact when Uruzakuru removes the eye patch she resembles his sister a lot only Orohara Kiski remains whose past we don't know and therefore it's not possible to judge whether there was a woman that affected his past and therefore his Bankai or not more than that there is a third common point which is that Kyoraku, Zaraki Azuro Soya and Orohara have a Bankai that take a human form and I believe there is no other Bankai like this four maybe we can say faked in Sasangetsu but that's another case rather if we make an exception for Orohara Kiski the other three possess Bankai that materializes in a human shape and size and as well as a direct communication with the owner of the Bankai but in an invisible way for example, when Kyoraku released his Bankai, Ohana appeared embracing him and he started talking to her while Lilibaro couldn't see her. And the same thing happened with Zaraki when Yachiro appeared and no one else saw her. And the same thing with Uruzakuru. In fact, Azuro Soya is the person who lived this experience the most by having a Bankai embodied in a human form and accompanying him all the time from a young age. While Orohara Kiski remains the only character among the four who has a visible Bankai, meaning everyone can see it. And secondly, and this is what I didn't like, is that the Bankai is very huge. I wish the Bankai was like Uruzakuru or Ohana, uh, in a human sized and hidden Bankai, so that Orohara can fight with all flexibility. On the other hand, there is another similarity which I like the most. So since the four Shinigami are males and the four Zanpaktos are females, we find that there is a symbolism in the relationship of men and women represented in how the female provides moral support to a male in difficult times. For example, in Kyoraku's fight against Lily Barrow, we notice how Kyoraku fell into her arms when he thought he had finished the battle 
And even when Lilibaro returned, we saw how Ohana stood by his side and told him of the necessity of escape. Of course, it's true we already know that a Zanpakuto, regardless of its gender, has a close relationship with its owner. But when it's female and the owner is a male, here the relationship appears to be more solid. The same thing I said with Kyoraku can be said with Orozakuru and Asusiro Soya. She appears behind him. It's like the saying that says, behind every great man there is a great woman. It's true that Uruzakuru seems more wild, but she was with Wazazuro Soya during the most difficult times. As I said at the end of the novel, there is a beautiful scene appears between Azero Soya and Uruzakuru when she removed the eye patch and Azero Soya told her that you look a lot like my sister. The same thing with Urahara Kiski. Binihime Atarami appeared behind him and treated his eyes. And the same thing with Yachiro and Zaraki, she was always behind his shoulder. And we noticed how she was trying to balance the amount of power she was releasing. That's why I said that the fact that this Zampak Chochoka human form gave us these unique and special relationships. And now guys that I have presented to you the most important point of similarity between these four Bankai, let us delve a little bit deeper in the Bankai of each one of them. First, all the four Bankai are distinguished by deadly abilities. Kyoraku's Bankai is characterized by four chapters and each chapter has a terrifying ability. In my personal opinion, the most lethal is the second chapter, the Pillow of Shame. It's in this chapter only the opponent is subject to harm, unlike the first and the third chapter. But in general, the Bankai's ability remains lethal, although Kyoraku may also be exposed to damage. Orohara Kiski also has an extraordinary ability which is to restructure everything his Bankai touches. The only flaw I see in the Bankai, as I said, is the range of the ability as well as the size of Benihimi. As for Zaraki, we're talking about a legendary boost on the level of physical strength as well as the catching power of his sword. But in my personal opinion, the Bankai that I see the strongest in terms of ability and how it works is, is Uruzakuru the Bankai of the 8th Kenpachi. The Bankai is the opposite of Kiski, who has a limited range. The 8th Kenpachi has a control, can control a wide range that reaches an area uh, like the Serichi. And unlike Kyoraku's Bankai, the Bankai is not dangerous to its owner, but the damage may be from a second party if it has the ability to absorb Riyatsu. And without talking about his great ability, to fuse with anything, whether it's human, animals, air, and everything. However, there was only one problem in Azro Soya's Bankai, which is that the latter didn't have full control over Uruzakuru, like Zaraki who didn't have full control over Little Yachiro. For this I say that the 8th Kenpachi, if he reached the stage of complete control over his Bankai, then, then Uruzakuru will be definitely the strongest Bankai in terms of lethality. In the end guys, these four Shinigami are considered to be among the strongest Shinigami, as well as the most prominent characters. And their most important feature that they have female Zanpakuto that added a special touch on their strength. 